You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 919. Today's Devo is called Leaping for Joy. Hey, I'm Allison Elizabeth, a faith-filled, coffee-obsessed baker from Miami, Florida. As my dreams widened and my to-do list got longer, I found it harder to find devotional time. After seeing many people struggle to do the same, I set out to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another episode of the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Guys, today we are going to be in Luke. We are going to piggyback into the nativity story. I know we're bouncing around all of this month, but I just wanted to make sure that we give the story of Christ the honorable place in our daily prayers as this is the season for Christmas. And it's not about gifts and it's not about the lights. It's about the light of the world that was given to us, the son that God gave. And In that story, we get to read different components on how he paved the way. And so we talked about Elizabeth earlier this week. We talked about when the angel visited Mary. And today we're going to touch real quickly on when Mary visited Elizabeth. Now, throughout this series and throughout this month, we're also sprinkling in some of my favorite verses because it is our last month together. And if that's the first time you're hearing this announcement, I encourage you to go back and listen to last Monday's episode, Favor a Fair. Um, I'm pretty sure it was that one, but that's where I give my announcement. And if you want to stay in contact with me, please follow the personal socials, follow the socials here at My Morning Devo. That Instagram is not going down, it's staying up. And also please subscribe to my newsletter with the link in the description below. That just ensures that I have your email address and that I can contact you once my new show goes live. But in this time, I am just really looking forward to taking a couple of months to just relaxing and resting. This was an amazing three and a half years. I am so very much looking forward to the next chapter. In it all, I give God all the glory and I just thank you for your grace and understanding and positive feedback in this all. So today, Luke chapter 1 verse 39 all the way down to 45, it says, In those days, Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a town in Judah. And she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the baby leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord shall come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting came to my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. I label today's Devo leaping for joy. And what I really love is where Elizabeth says, and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And I just speak those same words to you. Blessed are you who believes that there will be a fulfillment of what God has spoken to you. There is such power in walking knowing that what God promises us, we can walk in. When he promises us that his yoke is light, that his burden is light, We can walk with a weight lifted from our shoulders that no one can explain. When we walk knowing that the promise that he is the Prince of Peace and that he is right beside us every single step of the way, and when people look at you and ask, why are you filled with so much peace? It's because we are walking knowing that there is a fulfillment of a promise over us. And that goes into your career, into your family, it goes into your homes. There is such power in walking, knowing that the fulfillment of what was spoken over you will happen. It's going to come to fruition. And I just pray that I can be like Elizabeth to you today. I can just boldly declare over your life that blessed are you because you walk knowing, believing that the fulfillment of what was spoken over you from the Lord was going to come to fruition. 
So whatever you're facing today, whatever you're doing, God is good to you. God is good to the people around you. Favor is upon you because you have faith. You have great and beautiful faith. And that is for you and it's also for me. And I just tackled today with a smile on my face knowing that God is the Prince of Peace, knowing that the Lord has us in the palm of His hand and knowing that we can walk faithfully and we can walk boldly into the future knowing that whatever He has spoken over us, He will fulfill. And it's going to be in His timing and that's the hard part. But the seasons of waiting don't have to be wasted. So the prayer for today. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this Thursday. We thank you that we can walk boldly knowing that what you have spoken over us will come true. We thank you that you are a God that fulfills every promise. You watch over us. You look over us. You are the Prince of Peace. You are the Blessed One, Lord. We give it all to you. All the glory is in your name. So we just pray that you continuously watch over us. You give us the strength when we get fatigued from waiting. And that you give us the wisdom to understand that in this season, everything is working for our good. We just pray this in your son's mighty name today and every day. Amen. So there you have it, your five minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you for tuning in today. I pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. Make sure to follow the My Morning Devotional account on Instagram at My Morning Devo. There you will find quick links to subscribe to our podcast and the written devotionals. Until tomorrow, I pray that not only your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.